So Nick, um, sum up this movie for me. What, what is it about? Um, so it's about uh, an astronaut who gets stranded in space. And she, <laughs> she no, that's not, that's not what it's about. Um, it is about a, a frat. There's a young married couple played by Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne. Uh, who have a, new, a baby, a six-month-old baby, and they've just bought their first house, and uh, a fraternity moves in next door, uh, and they go to war. Now, things escalate pretty quickly. Talk oh, yeah. about the rivalry and how it just spins out of control. Well, at first, Seth and Rose want to seem cool uh, to their neighbors, and they want, to, they want them to be quiet, but it's really important to them that they seem cool, and there's this amazing, very pathetic scene of them trying to seem cool in front of, the, in front of their neighbors, uh, in front of the fraternity. Um, and, uh, and then they go over and they end up partying with the fraternity one night. Uh, and the next day the frat st is still being loud. Um, and, uh, they, and the, they call the cops. And the only thing that Zac Efron, who's the head of the frat, asks them to do is not call the cops. And they call the cops in the fraternity and it immediately turns into a crazy escalation from there. Uh, and where both sides are making horrible mistakes. Now Kelly is such an amazing character because she really just is not the typical new mother wife. Yeah. Talk about what you did with her. Well, you know, it was important to us, like, it's, and it's always important to me in all my movies that the that the female character be like as funny as the guys. Like, I, d I don't like seeing comedies where like there's like kind of a nagging wife or like just like a perfect girlfriend who has no lines. Like, it's boring to me. It's like that's not the life I live in or that world I live in. So from the very beginning, I was like, this part needs to be super funny, um, and we worked on that for a while, and then. Uh, you know, the movie is really about two meltdowns, like Zac Efron's having a meltdown because he's graduated from college, and Seth and Rose are having one because they had their, fir you know, have their first baby, which are two meltdowns I had, you know. Uh, and, um, and when I had my meltdown about having a baby, you know, my wife was there with me. She was probably having a bigger meltdown. So it seemed funny to, like, really explore that uh, with, with Rose's character and to make her a big part of that action. And when you're stuck at home with a baby, you want to do fucking anything. You know, you want to do anything. <laughs> you just got to get out there. Uh, and so she, you know, and she really embraces that part. Like she, it's her, all of the dumb ideas in the movie are hers. Like, um, uh, in fact, the one thing I learned in this movie is that there should be no smart people in a comedy. Every character in this movie is dumb, <laughs> including Rose. <laughs> so yeah. What was the most outrageous scene for you to shoot? Oh, there are so many. Uh, pr I mean, I would say probably the scene where they're making the dildos. That was that was pretty outrageous. Where the frat they frat makes dildos to to pay for water damage that they don't realize that Seth and Rose have inflicted on their house. So that that was an insane sequence. Obviously the airbag was completely insane. And then some of the parties, just them sneaking around the house at the end to try to get to get to uh, you know, to take that super seriously. We've got to turn this we've got to turn this party back on and take it as seriously as like, you know, the third act of a Marvel movie where they're saving the world, like seemed really fun. So now, you really, you, know, you really assembled a great ensemble comedic cast. Mm -hmm. Talk about your, your cast here. Oh, uh, th well, thanks. Yeah, the, um, you know, I love to have a deep comedic bench. You know, it's always fun to like, leave the audience, like, to have every character, no matter how small, like, you know, scoring. You know? Um, uh, movies cost a lot of money. There's no reason everyone shouldn't be scoring. Uh, and, uh, and comedy actors are our visual effects when it comes to you know, a comedy. Like it's, like it's what people come to see a movie for. So yeah, so even as parts as small as like the realtor I cast, like Liz Kakowski, who's like a super funny like actress, um, you know, uh, or the AT and T guys, it's like this this great comedy actor named Randall Park. But but to the bigger parts, you know, I wanted like every actor, um, you know, uh, like their friends are played by Ike Barinholtz and Carla Gallo, who are both hysterical comedians. And then the the fraternity is really important to me that they'd be really funny and that they also seem like a nice group of guys because I thought that could confuse the audience and not know who the villains are like that seemed like a because I don't believe in villains in this kind of movie and so to keep people off kilter I cast like Gerard Carmichael who besides being a hyster hysterical stand-up is also a really nice guy and gives out a nice vibe um, Dave Franco who's really funny um, and uh, you know Chris Mintz Plass and then who's, who's really funny and also seems like a cool nice guy and then and then Zac Efron who is, has an insanely sunny disposition and goes to a dark place but starts out as like very cool and nice thank you so much mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.